About seven years ago, CXBX Reloaded was seen as the cutting edge of Xbox emulation. At the time, there were no viable alternatives, and Ximu was not even taking off yet. But how good is the emulator these days? And how come we never hear about it anymore? Could it be because so few games are considered playable? Given the time span, you would have expected more progress. There's also the matter of the community, which is practically non-existent. For example, you can sign up to the Discord server, but you can't actually access the server. And it's been over a month since anybody's posted on the official subreddit. The emulator is still getting regular updates though, so clearly it's not abandoned. And I will add that nobody owes us anything. We should remember that these developers work for free. I'm not making this video out of criticism, but merely out of curiosity. So let's take a look at the games and see how playable they truly are. I may as well start with Halo, since it's the console's most popular franchise. Everything seems fine at first, until you get a bit further into the game. As you can see, the colors are all wrong, and I don't need to add anything further. A few games that worked previously now crashed with unhandled exception errors. And these include Auto Modelista, Guilty Gear X2, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Pac-Man World 2, and Red Dead Revolver. Burnout was stuck in an infinite loading screen. I waited five minutes before I finally gave up. I played Dark Watch twice. The first time it had no graphical issues, but it froze at a certain point. The second time characters were black, and it froze at the same spot. You'll be glad to know that GTA 3 is fully playable. I looked for bugs and couldn't find any. Performance is also more than acceptable. Vice City is almost perfect, save for a minor smudge on the horizon. Right now, it's certainly a better option than playing the game on Zemu. One of the most coveted games on Xbox was Jet Set Radio Future, and on CXBX Reloaded, it runs without issue. It works okay on Zemu, but has sound issues, so this is the best way to play. Max Payne is playable, but with minor graphical glitches. They're not that bad, but it can get distracting after a while. Max Payne 2 is more of the same, although the glitches were a bit more severe on the emulator. It's playable, but not recommended. Panzer Dragoon Orta is fully playable with occasional stutters. You may also run into a few bugs here and there, but nothing serious. Apart from the sun sparkling like a disco ball, Colin McRae Rally 3 had no other issues. It maintained a good frame rate, and the gameplay felt nice and smooth. The sequel was just as decent. It even had the same issue with the sun, but otherwise everything was fine. The main appeal of CXBX Reloaded has always been the Dead or Alive games, which are barely playable on Zemu. But here, both Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate and Dead or Alive 3 are fully playable on the emulator. Obscure is one of my favorite survival horror games, but sadly it has lighting issues on CXBX Reloaded. It's just way too bright and reveals details that should be hidden by darkness. Both Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X and Pro Skater 3 are fully playable on the emulator. They ran perfectly fine and without issue. But okay, that covers all the important games, but now I'll just add a bunch of others that deserve mention. DJ, cue the music, please. 